So normally I don't really talk about this kind of stuff. This channel is more about entertainment and vlogs. It's about my personal life. There's a lot of people talking about it and I thought it was really, really important to share it with you guys this time. So I'm sure you've all heard about it by now, or at least a few mentions. But on April 9th, 2017, about five or so days ago, there was this huge incident that happened with United Airlines. So at the O'Hare Airport in Chicago, a man by the name of David Dow was forcibly removed from a flight that he had booked traveling to Louisville, Kentucky. To sum things up, United Airlines had overbooked their flight and had asked for volunteers to be relocated to a different flight. Obviously, there weren't any takers, so United went a step further and they offered compensation for the time and the hassle. It's been reported that they initially offered vouchers valued at 400 US dollars, stopping later at a maximum of 800 US dollars, as well as including a hotel for the people to stay. Even with this, no one is willing to give up their spot. I mean, like, I wouldn't. As a result, it was up to United staff to randomly choose passengers to be removed. Including Dow, there was a total of four passengers that were involuntarily relocated to a different flight. Ultimately, Dow had refused to comply. He booked and he paid for this flight, so shouldn't he have every right to be fulfilled this promise? Officers were then brought aboard and actually forcibly removed them. From this action, he's actually suffered from a concussion, a broken nose, damaged sinuses, and even the loss of his front two teeth. And it's been reported that he might need reconstructive surgery. And Dow, still confused because of that concussion, got back on the flight. He's a doctor by trade and he would not let go of his duty. He had several patients to treat in his home state of Kentucky in which he immigrated there in 1975. He was a US citizen since he was 27. Now he's 69. He's an American for God's sake. This concussion was obviously major because he was reported somehow to make it actually back onto that same flight before they took off and he was actually recorded chanting like somewhat of a disoriented mantra of Please kill me, please kill me, I have to go home. Eventually, he was escorted off the plane again. Honestly, it's absolutely disgusting that something like this actually happened. If you've seen some of the videos, I'll link some of the videos and articles in the description so you can check it out down there. But if you've seen the videos, he's absolutely bloodied. Like his face, there's just so much blood. You can tell that he's suffering from a really, really disturbed trance-like state. I mean, like, I would be too if I was injured that badly. Since then, the United CEO, Oscar Minaj, he's publicly apologized and actually more has been revealed on the case. Even though it was listed as a United Airlines flight, it was actually being operated and it was being staffed by partnering slash contracting company Republic Airlines. And the four seats of the removed passengers were actually given to Republic staff. We found out later that the flight wasn't even overbooked. Republic just failed to properly plan out their flights and these four staff were needed the next day for a flight from Louisville. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And for the three officers that escorted Dr. Dow off the flight, have since been put on administrative leave. Personally, this is a bit of gray area. I believe that it's a bit unfair to them because they were simply performing their duties. But that being said, they were a bit extreme in how they performed it. I understand that Dr. Dow refused to comply and he was actually resisting, but for him to wind up with such severe injuries, that's just crazy. Ultimately though, I think it's a fault with the airlines, more so Republic Airlines. Just to assure you all, these release statements from the press aren't actually as a defense for United or Republic, but it's just for the sake of transparency. Now that being said, how do things like this actually happen to us? And how can we be protected in the future? Now, flight overbooking happens more often than you think and it's actually quite a common practice. Just like with any kind of reservation, there's always that one group of people that simply do not show up whatsoever. And for that exact reason, big companies take this as a chance to maximize these profits, booking seats that otherwise wouldn't be normally taken. They base it off of statistics and retrospective analyses, but that being said, Statistics aren't always reflective of anecdotal, real-world settings. And that's what happened here. When passenger relocation does occur, many airlines insist that it's randomly selected, but a lot of evidence, to a certain degree, suggests otherwise, like 
It's usually the late passengers or those with the lowest airfares that usually get booted off first. And legally, they're allowed to do this. The airlines reserve the right to do so as per contract, and they're not bound by any law saying that they can't incur practices like this. But they are restricted in some ways. To paraphrase, for example, if they cannot deliver the relocated passengers to their destination within one hour of their originally scheduled flight, they have to start forking up the money. But what you should know is that you reserve the right to insist on a check instead of airline credits or vouchers. There's a bunch of other rules and regulations about the time spent and the amount due, but it's a whole lot. So I'll just direct you to the video description down below. Now you might be asking yourself, how can I protect myself from this happening to me? Now the Canadian Transportation Agency suggests that you arrive on time or preferably even early, as well as pre-selecting your seats when making your reservations. Overall, it should reduce the likelihood that you're selected for involuntarily removal. Now I'm gonna remind you that the airlines do retain the legal right to dismiss you under any circumstance, like by contract as I said before, but the most we can do is just follow these suggestions until there's reform in the future. Sum things up, United Airlines, or actually Republic Airlines, who was running that flight, overbooked slash failed to plan properly, actually had to remove four passengers from the flight so they could accommodate four of their own staff members. They asked for volunteers for people to leave the flight, no one volunteered. They offered money, which is fine, no one volunteered. But they went on to forcibly remove some of the people from the flight. And Dr. David Dow, one of those four passengers, refused to comply and resisted. Three officers had to forcibly remove him from the flight. You got severely injured. You got a major concussion, broken nose, damaged sinuses, and even lost some of his teeth. Although it was a mistake on his part to get back on the plane after all of this, it wasn't really fair to him because, well, because of that concussion, he wasn't able to think straight. To put things in perspective, what if this happened to you while you were eating at a restaurant? Let's say you reserved your table and it's a really, really fancy restaurant. You're on a date, maybe Valentine's, I don't know, something like that. All of a sudden, one of the waiting staff comes up to you and says, uh, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm kind of overbooked for the night, so I'm going to have to kindly ask you to leave because we have one of our VIP guests coming along and we actually can't afford to lose his business. Do you know what would happen? There would be a huge uproar and you would be completely justified by it. It wouldn't even have to progress to the point where they needed officers on duty. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Now as for me, you guys probably don't know this yet, but I'm flying to Japan on May the 7th for a summer getaway, as well as to add the second edition to my travel vlog series. I'll be there until the 31st. For the time being, I'm personally boycotting United and Republic Airlines until further notice, but it doesn't really matter apply to me that way because I'm actually going to be flying Air Canada. And although it doesn't directly affect me, it still brings me a lot of worry in the future and it, like I gotta be careful. In Toronto, we have Transport Canada, whereas the US has the TSA which is the Transport Security Administration. For us Canadians, our Transport Minister, Marc Garneau, he's a French guy, he assures that events like this won't happen in the future and won't be tolerated at all in Canada. Although commendable, the reason why I find it a bit funny is that Marc Garneau has given a lot of video creators in Canada, like me, just a huge headache when it comes to flying particularly with like hobbyist aircrafts and drones and all that so it's a it's a whole entire spiel on itself so I'm gonna save my breath until next time but to sum it up as of March 2017 it's been increasingly difficult to fly to legally fly drones in Canada anyway guys that's my breakdown and opinion of the United Republic case that so many people have been talking about for the past week or so. Let me know what you think and if you have any more knowledge on the case or the subject, don't be afraid to discuss them in the comments down below. I want to remind you guys that this is my personal YouTube channel and I do upload a weekly vlog every Wednesday 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and this video was originally going to be part of the weekly vlog but I just realized it was going to be much too long for it so I made it into a completely separate video as well as the fact that 
this is stuff that's happening right now so I want to get it to you guys as soon as possible so this is coming up on Saturday April 15 2017 if you know someone who can use a good summary of what happened here feel free to share this video with them also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of my next video anyway Christina out peace